Welcome to this great and holy week. We mark the days of this week with online devotional services. Monday through Thursday, we read the readings assigned to each of those days with an introduction to begin and a prayer then to follow each day's readings. Thank you for joining us. During Holy Week, Communities gather, some gather each day to meditate on Jesus' final days before his death on the cross. Today's gospel uh, commemorates the anointing of Jesus by Mary, which is a foreshadowing of his death and burial. Isaiah speaks of the suffering servant who is a light for the nations and who faithfully brings forth justice. For Christians, Jesus' suffering is the path to resurrection and new life. And so we enter into the contemplation of these days, confident that they lead us to that new life that Jesus brings. The first reading for this Monday in Holy Week is from Isaiah chapter 42, verses 1 through 9. The prophet writes, Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen in whom my soul delights. I have put my spirit upon him. He will bring forth justice to the nations. He will not cry or lift up his voice or make it heard in the street. A bruised reed he will not break and a dimly burning wick he will not quench. He will faithfully bring forth justice. He will not grow faint or be crushed until he has established justice in the earth and the coastlands wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spread out the earth and what comes from it, who gives breath to the people upon it and spirit to those who walk in it. I am the Lord. I have called you in righteousness. I have taken you by the hand and kept you. I have given you as a covenant to the people, a light to the nations, to open the eyes that are blind, to bring out the prisoners from the dungeon, from the prison those who sit in darkness. I am the Lord, that is my name. My glory I give to no other, nor my praise to idols. See, the former things have come to pass, and new things I now declare before they spring forth, I tell you of them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The second reading for this Monday of Holy Week is from Hebrews chapter 9, verses 11 to 15. When Christ came as a high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and perfect tent, not made with hands, that is, nor of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy place, not with the blood of goats and calves, but with his own blood, thus obtaining eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls with the sprinkling of the ashes of a heifer sanctifies those who have been defiled so that their flesh is purified, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to worship the living God? For this reason, He is the mediator of a new covenant, so that those who are called may receive the promised eternal inheritance, because a death has occurred that redeems them from the transgressions under the first covenant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And finally, the gospel assigned to this Monday of Holy Week. John chapter 12, verses 1 to 11. Six days before the Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, the home of Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. There they gave a dinner for him. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those at the table with him. Mary took a pound of costly perfume made of pure nard, anointed Jesus' feet, and wiped them with her hair. 
The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, the one who was about to betray him, said, Why was this perfume not sold for 300 denarii and the money given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief. He kept the common purse and used to steal what was put into it. Jesus said, Leave her alone. She bought it so that she might keep it for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. When the great crowd of the Jews learned that he was there, they came not only because of Jesus, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. So the chief priests planned to put Lazarus to death as well, since it was on account of him that many of the Jews were deserting and were believing in Jesus. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. May I never boast of anything except the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ. Let us pray. O God, your Son chose the path that led to pain before joy and to the cross before glory. Plant his cross in our hearts so that in its power and love we may come at last to joy and glory. To Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. 